Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to Eyeshadow Declutter. I'm going to show you inside the drawers how messy they are. <laughs> and we're going to discuss which palettes are leaving and going to somebody else this Thanksgiving, right? And if you're up for that, then just keep watching. We have four drawers of eyeshadows to go through, so we're not going to be dilly-dallying around here too long. This drawer here has nothing but Sydney Grace in it. What is that? Wait a minute. Oh, I know what this is. This is my, um, before the blessed palette, my prototype. That's what it is. See? It's my prototype shadows that the finalized ones before the blessed palette came out. This is actually Mel's prototype that she gave me a long time ago before Marvel, Tiny Marvels came out. This is an extra Tiny Marvels in case you know, I need it. These are extra blessed palettes because I wanted to build a shadow box um, that had these in there and also my brush set. If you are new here, you've never been here before, the blessed palette by Sydney Grace is my palette. These two are extras. They're backups for Where the Wild Things Grow and Summer Days. So basically what I'm saying is that all of this are ones that we don't get in. These two here just have Sydney Grace blushes in them. Um, I'm not getting rid of anything in this drawer. I'm just showing you, okay? I have a huge uh, Z palette that won't fit in a drawer. It stands outside. I don't know. It holds like, I don't know, a few hundred shadows in it that are full of Sydney Grace. And this drawer is full of Sydney Grace. Uh, you might guess I kind of like Sydney Grace. <laughs> All right, so well, we have the Tentalia palettes back there, the Unbreakable Wand, Tropic Color, the Be Mine. This is their very first palette. They don't even have this one no more. Autumn's Rain. Um, my palettes, Tiny Marbles. You know, in other words, every palette that Sydney Grace has, it's in this drawer. Okay, and then this also, which is um, just empty because whenever I get it in that big thing of shadows and pull out singles, I put it in there. So this drawer stays exactly like it is. I don't get rid of Sydney Grace. Yikes. <laughs> okay, so what's in this drawer is smaller palettes and apparently sunscreens. Let's start over here. This is the On the Run from Urban Decay. The reason I've held on to this one is because I love this color scheme. However, I have other newer palettes now that I can get this look with, so this is going. This Lorac Pro Matte, I have loved it. I have over the years gotten rid of all but I think two. The rock palettes, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go now. I'm gonna have these two mini naked palettes and I'm gonna let them both go. This here is Naked Sin. And you know, I just feel like they've done naked to death. That's Naked Sin and this is the mini naked three. You could put these two together, but you know, I have naked three, the big one in the third drawer down. So I'm gonna get rid of these. These four Give Beauty palettes are not that old. Danger Zone is not my favorite. This one here is Just a Girl. This one is, oh, that's the one I really love, Simple Kind of Life. And then oh, this one is Rich Girl. So I really like all of them. I think I'll just get rid of danger zone. It's like a compulsive thing. Like when I bought all of the <laughs> hourglass, when the hourglass first brought out the ambient powders and their blushes, and I had to have them all. And I went and bought them. And I they only used two. I did end up selling them. I've maybe used danger zone one time. I just watched it. And you know, that's saying, yeah, I'm going to get rid of danger zone. But you know what I mean? I mean, I, it's like I get a palette I use it on camera, I swatch it, and then it goes in a drawer and it never gets used after that. And that's a shame. It's the nature of the beast here. Uh, 
this here BK True Beauty. I am going to go ahead and hold it because I don't know. There may be some, a look I need to do with it or something, and I don't want to not have it. This here, I've had it forever and a day, mainly because it's Selena, and it's gorgeous. That is so pretty. I just love her bustier on there, and I'm going to let it go. The Viseart Trist palette. I think this is the only Viseart I kept. I, again, Viseart was something that I just went crazy over, bought all this stuff, and then one day went, what are you doing? <laughs> You're not even using them. So, but I do love Trist. But see, I would be kind of scared to give this to somebody because I actually took these out once and had them all, all of my Viseart's in a Z palette in hopes that I would use them more and I did not. And But this was before they started magnetizing them. If I turn this like that, they'll all pop out. We'll keep it here to think about. I bought this whole e.l.f. palette because of that. Because I love that. This palette has way too much sparkle in it for me. But it's a beautiful palette. And I felt like the look that I did in it was gorgeous. But I'm going to let this go. Merit Beauty sent me this. It is a cream shadow. I'm not a cream shadow kind of girl. We know that because I bought this. Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I just had to have it. And I've used it like twice. This Charlotte Tilbury is the one in Champagne. And, um... Uh, I don't know. This is creamy. See, I have La Mercier caviar sticks if I want to do this. And these, I think these pots are a pain in the butt. I paid a good bit of money for this one and it's not dried up. So I think I'll keep it for sure. I'll keep this a little while longer. I have used it a couple of times since I got it. And let's see. Well, this is going nowhere because I use this all the time. This little tiny little bitty mini Biba. One of my favorite Natasha Denona things is this. <laughs> it came in a holiday box for crying out loud. And I just love it so much. So I'm hanging on to that for sure. We got some singles here from Essence. These are really pretty. Look at that. That is just so gorgeous. And what about this one? Yeah, well, obviously we know why that's in here because it's green. But I have these colors. I'm sure I can dupe these two out with some palette I'll keep. So I'm going to let these go. This should probably be in the trash. I've used a lot of it. And I don't know if it's dried up or not. Oh, no, that's so pretty. <laughs> Look at that. There's a little bit more left in that. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? I think I'll keep it a little while longer. That felt creamy like there was a lot more left in it. I thought that was kind of done for, but I guess it, it really wasn't. I love how this drawer is that what you're seeing is all that crap and not the eyeshadows. Sorry, guys. All right, what do we got? Let's look at my bite sizes. I've got a few here of the bite size elf palettes, which I love. I love bite size palettes. This one stays for obvious reasons. If you haven't been here before and you don't know it, I am a green fanatic and I love hot jalapeno. I don't do it very often, but there's a look in this I just love. So keeping that, I'll get rid of good vibes. And then what's this one? Oh, see, I love that shade. One of these. Okay. Oh, this one's good too. The good vibes with the, these colors, holding on to that one. I really like that one. And of course, you see a pattern here, right? Greens. Yeah, these two are so beautiful too. I think I'm going to keep them. <laughs> I just need to remember they're in there and actually use them. These are Natasha Denona's uh, little mini ones. I stopped buying them because I realized that... <laughs> No, you really won't use them if you have little ones either, Mary. <laughs> I stopped buying big ones because I thought I don't use them because there's too many choices. I'll buy the little ones. And no, they get shoved in a drawer. I don't not use these because they're not good. I don't use these because I forget they're here. This one here is, what, the mini Zendo. The mini Star and the mini Retro. I guess I'll hold on to these two. We just need to make sure we get in the drawer. And this, I'm sure, is old. This is from Lisa Eldridge. But you know what? I've got dry shadows that are this color. So I'm going to go ahead and part with that. Oh, we have a pigment in here. And this is from Sydney Grace. It's Dublin. You can't buy Dublin anymore. And I love Dublin. And... This is Urban Decay Lounge. You can see those scrape marks in it. I loved, 
lounge so much. I just have lounge on the brain for some reason. This isn't lounge. <laughs> lounge is like Sydney Grace's Red Chameleon, aka Tiny Marvel's Scarab, or Wet n Wild's Comfort Zone. But no, this here, this is called Freak. That when I was making my palette, I was taking actually these two, mixing them together to see if I could come up with a green that I loved. Um, I didn't end up doing that, but there are some shadows here and there that you'll see that have the scraping. That's because I scraped shadows in my collection to come up with the colors I wanted in my palette, okay? So like I would maybe mix this with that and then, you know, all these colors together to come up with an original shade. And then I sent it to Sydney Grace and said, make that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is Freak or something. Yeah, it's Freak. Let's see, is Freak... I know I was severely disappointed in Freak as an eyeliner. I didn't think it showed up very well, but that certainly does. I'm going to keep Freak. I'm going to put it in the drawer with the minis. And I love Dublin, too. So we're going to put Dublin back over there. Now then, here's all these caviar sticks from Laura Mercier. If I'm going to do cream shadow, this is what I do. If I'm in for a really quick look, I will grab a caviar stick. We're not doing so hot in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I've gotten rid of ten out of here so far. We've got all of these uh, nine pan palettes from Sigma. And in the bottom drawer are the bite size palettes from Sigma. I was thinking I might get rid of these and keep those. But there's some of these I may want to keep because I love them. But Fiery isn't one. Fiery is a little too warm for me now. I don't reach for this one. Um, I'm not really that much into golds and oranges and yellows. So I'm going to put this aside. Um, we may keep Hazy. Ritzy for sure stays. I'm pretty sure I have all of this somewhere else. I mean, I have every Sigma palette. So earthy, it stays. Spicy is a little warm for me, so I'm gonna let go of that. I don't know about Ivy. Rosy, not so much. I don't know. Oh, I like Beachy. I'm gonna get rid of Rosy. I'm gonna keep Beachy. And Jewels, nah, I can let go of Jewels. All right, so of the 10, I've kept four of those. Now this drawer is got room in it for <laughs> the bite sizes, which were in the bottom drawer. So we'll revisit this in a little bit. I really need to get all these sunscreens out of here and in the sunscreen bag. <laughs> but for some reason, it's just easier to throw them in here after I use one and then I throw it in here, right? <laughs> okay, second drawer then is my, what I call my luxury drawer. Pretty much these are the palettes that I've paid more money for. I just throw stuff in here. I never know where anything is. I don't want to look for it so it doesn't get used. In this Makeup Geek little palette are Lancome shadows. <laughs> These are so old. I think that's Kitten Mischief. Let's look at Kitten Mischief. After all these years, look at that. I might be wrong about that. Let's see. Is that Kitten Mischief? Do they still make Kitten Heel, I mean. Kitten Mischief is Lisa Eldridge lipstick. This, I think, is called All That Glistens or All That Glitters, All That Brightens. Yeah, I knew it was all that something. It's It really is all that. Look at this. This is on my iPhone. It's not wanting to focus. Um, these shadows are just as creamy as the day that, that I bought them. It's all I have left. And I know I have told this story before. You know, I had so many more of these and they fit into a regular Z palette, but I dropped them on the ground and this is all that survived. So I keep hanging on to these long comb straggles. I think that's called drape. I'm not sure. Yeah, long comb drape. It's a white sheen. That one right there is called drama shimmer and I can't get far enough away from the iPhone for it to focus, but that's it right there. And it was my inspiration for Shy Guy. As, as you know, Shy Guy is a lot more pigmented than that, but it was what I was going for. I'm gonna go ahead and keep them for a while longer. One of these days I might get rid of them and I might get rid of all this. That's what's left of my Makeup Geeks. And this is what's left of my MAC shadows. So, 
I don't know, one of these days I might get rid of those. Lord knows I have enough Sydney Grace singles that I don't need anything else. So as I said, what's in this drawer is mostly my luxury. Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, Longcomb, Tom Ford, and I never get rid of anything in this drawer. But I'm going to. I'm letting go of, of Lila. These were part of the, her $130 palettes. This is the only palette I ever owned that I made payments on. And it's so closely tied to Mel. This palette makes me sad. And one of you told me, just pack it away. It's been two years and I still won't open it. This may be on the chopping block. Not that I'll ever forget about Mel, but there's no point in holding, hanging on to a palette I won't use. You know, I may not still be able to let go of this one. I just really love that green right there, but it's, oh gosh, look at that green. It's so pretty. There's only three that I love that I've kept. It's this and both Divine Roses. Um, I gotta think about that. I thought I was gonna get rid of my Pat McGraths, but I am gonna get rid of this. This was just sent to me by Floresis, and I didn't really enjoy this palette. It's very beautiful. It really is, but not my cup of tea. What do we got here? An empty thing. Oh, this is staying. Um, it's one of the Natasha Denona palettes I love the most. This. It's this row. I don't use this up here. But now that I'm saying that, do I really need this? Because I have the nude palette and I love it. That nude palette is in the Fritzyville basket, so it is up on top of the desk and it's definitely staying. I think I will get rid of this because of this. <laughs> Since I got this, I don't feel like I need that. And I have the little Biba and the, yeah. I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna get rid of that other one now. How about that? This isn't a high-end palette. I don't know why it's in here. <laughs> Sent me this. This needs to go up on the top drawer with the smaller palettes. And yeah, oh, this is a beautiful shade. Pretty sure she had that in mind when she <laughs> sent this to me. Ah, look at that. Oh gosh, I love that. No, that's staying. I'm gonna put it up here in the drawer with the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. What else is back here? My Laura Mercier, I bought this, and good for a very muted, I mean, I've used it three times. Once to swatch, two on looks, I'm gonna get rid of it because I just, I, I have these colors all over the place. I don't know why I bought that, really. I'm gonna go ahead and part with this while it's still really good. And then we have the Retro Palette. Oh, I like it, but it's kind of warm. I think I will keep this one. I'll keep it with the nude. And then uh, as far as Pat and Graph goes, we just have the two divine palettes, the two divine rows. Um, and I had one of these, I think it might've been this one, in the last Fritzy Bell basket and put it away because of all the sparkle. Let me see here, which one was it? You know what, I enjoy this one more then I enjoy this one. But I do love these two shades right there on the end. Those are my two favorite shades in here because they don't have all the sparkle. I mean, those are beautiful. And if I was younger, you know, but I just don't enjoy fishing this stuff out of my pores anymore. I think I'm going to part with my Divine Rose too. And I know this blows some of your minds. I know that you're going, you kept how many little elf bite sized palettes? <laughs> You're getting rid of these Pat McGrath. It doesn't do anybody any good for them to sit in a drawer. I mean, it doesn't do me any good at all to have palettes that are sitting in a drawer I don't use. And you know, some of these colors are just too warm. I don't enjoy them anymore. I don't, and this is really pretty, but that shade is not a shade that I use anymore. This shade here is so gorgeous, but it's just full of these little sparkly things that end up down in my pores. And even after a double cleanse, I can still see them in a 10 by mirror. Oh, and that one there, that's a special shade too. Pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. Do you see that pink running through there? Isn't that gorgeous? Actually, I think this one is able to be used. Mm. Okay, I'm getting rid of the Divine Rose 2. And I have the special edition one. I remember getting up in like the middle of the night to make sure I got the pink one. 
But I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna keep this one and this one here, which I only kept this annoying box, so I know it's the green one I like. But I'm gonna get rid of that box because it just it's annoying. I'd rather open up the two palettes I have and know, you know, keeping this one. Keeping this one, keeping the original Divine Rose and getting rid of Divine Rose too. And you just have no idea how like hard that really was for me because my husband bought me those palettes for our anniversaries, birthdays, stuff like that because I wanted them so bad and then they sat in a drawer and I never used them. If you've never seen my other declutters and you're new here, these three palettes are the last of my Pat McGrath collection. Still deciding, what are we going to do with the Metropolis? Let's look at the Metropolis. And by the way, if you're watching this, um, I want to let you know that I'm having a giveaway on this stuff. Yes, it's used, but like I said, most of it has only been like used once or it's just been swatched. It can be sterilized and they're very expensive. It, everything you see going into the pile over there is something that is eligible for two of you, two winners from the U.S. because, you know, I don't want to have to do that whole duty thing you'll have to pay to get them and everything else. So in the U.S., I'm going to have two people and you will be able to choose up to four of these palettes. How about that? That way I don't have to pay an exuberant amount of money in shipping and you'll get four nice palettes that you maybe wouldn't have had otherwise. Well, the Lisa Eldridge's really are not that old. Um, This one is, what's that? Vega. Myth. And this is the one I love, Sorcery. I'm, I'm keeping Sorcery for sure. Obviously, Myth has been used more, um, mainly because this shade, it's supposed to be a topper, but I keep trying to make it the main star attraction. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of that shade. But, you know, neither one of them have been used that much. I'm going to put them in the pile. I meant it when I said I was going to declutter. This is just a magnet. You know, if you want to show one particular single, you could do that without having to hold it. <laughs> While I'm wiping off my hands here, how many of you want to take a bet on whether or not I will let go of my long combs or my Tom Fords? I will not be letting go of these Charlotte Tilburys. Okay, because, let me see, this one here, Exaggerize and Uptown Girl were purchased for me by Mel. Those will never leave. This one here, though, I purchased. It's Pillow Talk Dreams. And I, I like this palette. So my Charlottes are staying. Tom Ford. All right, which one's this? I can tell you right now, Nude Dip won't go anywhere. That's this. I don't know why I keep putting them back in those pouches. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Nude Dip stays. I mean, it's like the Dior stuff, right? It, it, you paid all that money, you want to keep the pouch, but it really is a pain in the butt to take them out of the pouches. This will be super hard for me because a few of these, Michelle bought me Virgin Orchid. I purchased this one. Again, though, what good does it do you to have all this stuff if you're not going to use it? Last Dance was purchased for me by Michelle, and I was really, really into blues at the time, and I loved it so much. I'm not so much into the blues now. I don't want to give it up because Michelle bought it for me. Okay, this one I'm going to go ahead and keep, sentimentally mostly, but there is a khaki kind of green in there that I like. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of Badass. So that's Badass. Was I deciding on this one? Virgin Orchid? I think I was. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I'm going to think on it. Uh, keeping Last Dance. And this one here is... I, I remember purchasing this. I forgot. Oh, it's called Body Heat. I'm going to get rid of Body Heat. Man, we have really hit this drawer hard. And then we have the Long Comb Shadows, which outside of the new one they just brought out, I have them all. All right, well, the camera shut off, and I lost everything that had anything to do with the long comb stuff, which was the last thing in the luxury drawer. So here they are. These are the ones I'm going to get rid of. I kept three. I kept Smoky Chic, Beige Brulee, and I forgot the other one. Oh, French Nude. Okay. 
So this one is Drama Denim. This one is Rose Fusion. Uh, this is that Amethyst one. Naturally, I will clean all of these up <laughs> before I, you know, send them out. Khaki Electric, I think is what that's called. And Taupe Craze. Last drawer. This is those Sigma bite size palettes I was telling you about. I used this one and they've not even been swatched. The reason I got rid of the nine pan palettes is because I know I'm gonna keep some of these here. Sigma really makes you feel special. When you get a PR package from Sigma, you really feel special. They put a lot, a heart and soul goes into a package from Sigma. It's just a delight to open. Here, I'll show you one. Up in fact, Let's go across the room here so I can show you stuff that's not in any of this. I mean, I'm keeping it forever. They are collectors, just letting you know. Like, But I want to show you this. I've not even had a chance to do anything with this because, you know, I mean, I hope I will get to. But look how special this is, okay? These are silk rose petals. In here, this is the Beauty and the Beast collection. I mean, you just feel so special when you get one of these packages and you're beautiful. And each one that I've gotten has been done up the same way. But like stuff like this, this is not going to ever go away. I'm never decluttering this. First of all, it was sent to me by of the Fritzy family. One year, this and these lipsticks, and then the second year, this, because Pure collaborated with Barbie twice. I mean, these lipsticks, look at them. Yes, they are sitting over here. I have used them. I don't want you to get the impression that I don't use them. I've used everything here. I'm just not caring. See, look at that. I'm just not caring if it gets old because it's for show now. That is too beautiful to use up. Stuff like this, I'll try and do this one-handed. Stuff like this, it never is going to be decluttered. It's just for show now. Going on over here, these palettes, this makeup over here will never be gotten rid of. My husband got me these for my birthday one year. It's part of the British Museum collection for Alice in Wonderland. It's for show, okay? The ColourPop, Alice in Wonderland, the Urban Decay up there, that was sent to me by The point is there's makeup over here that we're not decluttering, okay? It's part of my collection, but we don't use. There is a shelf up here where I keep stuff. Oh, let's see if I can get over here. There you go. <laughs> There's an Alice cup right there that was sent to me. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, I shouldn't be just naming names for stuff. You may not want anybody to know that stuff. But anyways, I have stuff all over this place that you guys have sent to me. So anyway, back to this. Uh, I don't think I need to keep Caramel Apple to tell you the truth. Number one, because I have these shades all over the place. Number two, that shade, Tarte, that's the only shade that I can think of from Sigma's eyeshadows that I don't really like. And it just seems like it doesn't want to blend very well. And I'm sure that no one else would probably have a problem with that because most people would use that as a liner, <laughs> not as something they were going to blend in their crease. But I didn't care for that shade in there. I'm going to let this one go. Uh, let's see. I'm keeping creme brulee. I'm keeping peach pie for sure. They just look like ones that I think you guys might like to see looks with and that I would enjoy. So those are going in the top drawer. Blueberry parfait. No, I think I'll pass that one. Tiramisu is staying. What's this one? Bon Bon is leaving the collection. This is a bunch of alter ego that I keep just shoving. I think I have every palette now, right? And my intention is, this is their brand new one. It was sent to me not that long ago, just like last week or something like that. Um, it is inspired by the Huda Empowered palette. I probably want to do a look with that. I don't know. I don't know. There, I have these, all of these down here, and I've not got to give them their proper due yet because of being injured and having surgery. But I'm going to set all of the alter egos aside. Let's get them out of the way here. This I'm going to get rid of. 
I used it enough to know if it's a good palette. It is a good palette, um, but I don't like this cheap plastic thing and it popped out that protects these shades. See, that's just, that plastic goes in there and it protects the shades from touching it. But anyway, this is going out of my collection. What are these? Oh, I know what these are. Okay. <laughs> um, th this isn't eyeshadow. You know what these are? These are gonna go to this little girl I know who wants to be a makeup artist. Um, these are silicone eyes. See, when I was testing my palette and making the shades and stuff, I was using these to test shades on, and they're, see, they're silicone. So you can just like put eyeshadow on them like you would your own eyes. I mean, it goes on a little different, but it lets you test the colors. And I didn't want to like keep doing wear and tear on my own eyes. Anyway, this little girl wants to be a makeup artist and I promised her that when this was all over, I would give her these faces. So let's get these out of here. Most of this drawer is Sigma, okay? Because I've never gotten rid of my Sigma palettes. This is a uh, pretty please. So this is going. Part of the thing about the Wasted and Glitzy Fritzyville Basket series is that I actually get to spend time with makeup. 30 whole days I get to spend with makeup and by doing that, I'm able to form a better opinion. So like what happens is with an influencer like me, and I hate that word by the way, but with someone like me, you're buying makeup to use and or getting makeup anyway. However you get it, you're getting it so that you can review it. All right, then once you review it, swatch it or whatever, it goes in a drawer and then it, you're constantly moving on so you don't get to spend time with things and form a really good op opinion of it, right? That's the case with something like this. This is beautiful. And I don't really spend much time with ColourPop. Want to know why? It's not because they aren't good. I think they have some good shadows and everything and they're affordable, but they have what they call pinpoints in a lot of their shades. And what that is, is what I call glitter or little tiny pore clogging <laughs> sparkles that I don't like. And that's why this palette's leaving. The color story is just beautiful, but I don't like messing with that. And a lot of color pop is that way. So bye-bye. I think I've got all of the Sigma palettes. This was the first. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying this was Sigma's very first palette. What I'm saying is this is Sigma's very first good palette. Not that they really sucked before. Quarter Rosa is where they stepped into what I would call high-end eyeshadow. If you ever had the old Sigma makeup, then you might be like, I don't understand why they think that they can charge $50 for an eyeshadow palette. Who do they think they are, ABH? Yup. <laughs> Cord Rosa is where me and Mel both looked at Sigma and went, okay, this is ABH quality. And they all come with these nice brushes. See, double-ended real Sigma brushes because let's not forget at the end of the day that Sigma is a brush company. They're a very nice brush company. So that's no junk brush there. You're getting two of their real brushes in here. But this palette it is way too warm for me now and so I'm going to let it go and we're going to be doing that now because like I was started saying and didn't finish, when I'm doing these palettes in Glitzy Fritzyville Basket, when I do one of these palettes, I find out that maybe I don't really want to keep it, right? Maybe it's not all about me in the palette. For instance, this one. I love the packaging on this. That's why I love this and one shade in here. There's really, for me, one eye in this. Now this is supposed to be in the current Glitzy Fritzyville basket, but it only took me a week to know that I need to declutter this palette. Let somebody else have a go at it because I am just in love with the snake skin on here and I don't know why it's a naked palette. I'm not sure why they keep calling things naked. They're not. That's not naked. <laughs> but when it comes right down to it, I like this one. I like that one. I like that one. And that's it. And so every look that I would do for that entire week was the same one. I was not inspired enough by the palette to use anything else. So that tells me that this is taking up space where something else could be. So I'm decluttering my Urban Decay Naked Wild West, even though I'm totally in love with the aesthetic of it. 
It's not a practical palette for me. Same thing happened with Untamed. I spent a good month with this and I loved it, but there's just a couple of eyes that I really wanna do. And this is why these little bite sizes are so genius. If you're the kind of person that gets overwhelmed with this many colors, you're really gonna like those bite sizes because you don't have to think about that. It's a lovely palette. I would, at one time I would have told you this was my favorite Sigma palette, but I'm gonna have to find the brush. I took it out of here and it's probably in the brush collection that I have. I know I didn't get rid of it, uh, but yeah, so this, I'm going to let that go as well. I'm still thinking on ambiance, whether or not I want to let that one go. So we're just gonna put that down here because I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep new mod or I wanna keep ambiance. One of these two is leaving. We're gonna put this down here so that I can see. I've already done looks on the channel with the palettes. So really, other than to compare to other palettes, there's no reason for them to stay here. There's Enchanted. I use this in the Fritzyville basket and look at it. Now, obviously, I probably am not going to be, I mean, if you want it as one of the year four, okay. But why would you choose that when I so inconsiderately marked it up? This is so, if I ever pick up this palette again, because I did spend a month with it. Uh, if I ever pick it up again, I know I don't like those shades. That's not hard to figure out, right? <laughs> It's going in the pile. Warm neutrals pretty much tells you, right? It's warm and I'm not leaning into warm, not an entire palette of it, but it's beautiful. The shades perform so well, but yeah, this is going in the pile. I told you guys, when I say declutter, I mean it. I don't mean I'm gonna get rid of the cheap stuff and <laughs> I'm, I don't care. If it's something I'm not gonna reach for, it's leaving. This one here, I liked this. This was a, collaboration with Diana Saldana, and I liked this palette, uh, except for that shade, obviously, but I don't reach for this that much, and people aren't asking me for looks with it, so it's going. Uh, these are brushes that Ultra Ego sent me. I think I've not even had a chance to look at them yet. I mean, it's not like I'm starved for brushes over here, right? <laughs> Put that over there with the alter ego stuff. Alice in Wonderland and the Cinderella are both staying because they are Disney stories and they seem to have a thing with Disney, okay? So when you guys ask me about stuff, it's always about what shades are similar in the Alice and the Cinderella. So you guys do ask me about these and I think the same thing with the Beauty and the Beast. So I'm hanging on to both Alice in Wonderland, which I wouldn't get rid of anyway. Um, but I'm hanging on to Alice and Cinderella. This one is Ann Nook's palette with Sigma. Oh, it's a little warm for what I would use. I think I'm going to part with Ann's palette. But this one from Angela Bright, I really like. Even though it does have warm colors in it, um, it's a little easier for me to get what I want from it. And so it's relatively new. I am going to keep Angela Bright's for a while and play with that some more. Uh, we're still deciding if I'm getting rid of the ambiance or the new mod. The Essentials with Stephanie Lang. This one here is probably my favorite collaboration palette from Sigma. I love this palette. Stephanie did a really good job with this. Not that Diane and Ann Nook and <laughs> Angela Bright and all the other ones didn't. I just find that I can use this on the everyday. So I'm keeping that one. This, well, <laughs> this is Huda's matte palette and I'm gonna let it go. Everything I would have done with this palette and wanted it for, I have in my new Natasha Denona. So I'm gonna let this one go as well. Let us open these two up while we're still dealing with Sigma here. Oh, and take a look at them side by side. Gosh, you know, I think I've got a lot of these shades in the nine and the bite size palettes. Oh man, what a tough choice. I'm not so like, horrified to get rid of them because I've done videos on all of this stuff already. And you know, I don't want palettes just sitting and aging in my collection if I'm just gonna let it set in a drawer for me to give the opportunity for somebody to pick to use them because then that would maybe a conversion for them. Because believe it or not, there are some people out there still who are judging Sigma on their old makeup. 
back when they first dipped their toe into makeup and was doing what everybody else is doing, you know, when they start their makeup. So, and they just don't get it. They're like, why would I pay $50 for Sigma? If I have to weigh this decision so hard, I probably should keep them both. So I'm gonna keep both of these for a while longer just to make sure. So we've actually narrowed down our Sigma palettes quite a bit. That leaves just these four palettes here. And that would be my Jackie Ina by ABH, the Sultry, which is missing the shade Pearl um, because it broke. So that'd be nice, right? Here, you can choose this palette, but it's missing a shade. This is the Unzipped. I have held on to this Lorac Unzipped for such a long time. It's because somebody I love very much bought it for me. Um, but I have broke one of the shades and it's so old now that these mattes here are starting to dry up. And this one here, I think I'm gonna toss. Thank you, you know who you are, but would never want me to tell anyone <laughs> for when you bought that for me for my birthday. I'll never forget you sent it to me, but it's time for this thing to go. If Sultry's one of your choices, just keep in mind that it has one missing shade. The Jackie Ina is leaving. That means I have no more ABH. I have gotten rid of every ABH palette I ever owned. And this is still in the box. The Naked 3, I'll tell you why. I loved this palette, I got rid of it, and then I regretted it, so I bought it again, and did I use it? A couple times, and then it just sat here in the box. I did get rid of all of those other naked palettes, so I think I will hang on to it for just a little while longer. Maybe I'll do a Fritzyville basket with it and see, do I really, really like that palette or not? And I think I have done one heck of a job. I mean, a bang up job. Tiger is not changing its stripes. I still have sunscreen back there. I never did, never did clean it out, but this is the top drawer. And then this drawer here, those go over there. So I kept the two Natasha Denona big palettes and these two palette grass, three long combs, you know, three Tom Fords, three, I, I chose three of this, all of those. Uh, three Tom Fords, three Charlottes, three long combs I kept, and one Lisa Eldridge. And then the bottom drawer, now these are all alter ego palettes here from here forward uh, that I've not got to review or anything for you guys yet. So those are waiting, ladies in waiting. Um, and then everything back here I kept. And of course we didn't throw anything for Sydney Grace out at all. And here is the entire um, eyeshadow declutter. So yeah, two of you can choose four of these palettes and I'll send it to you. Naturally, I'm going to clean them up first and sanitize them. I'm not going to send you dirty makeup. <laughs> That's added in there for anybody who'd be like, I can't believe you're going to send us your old dirty makeup. No, I'm not going to send you my old dirty makeup. And if you are bothered by that, just don't enter. Speaking of entering, I learned something from the first giveaway. Using this email that I'm showing you on the screen, because I don't want to say it out loud, I'm not opening up the emails unless you win. So please don't write me anything on the inside of the email, okay? I'm not opening up the emails at all unless you win. And then I'll email you back from that email and tell you that you won, and then I need a mailing address, okay? So in the subject line, only put, enter me. And that's how I'm going to know that you want to be entered. And then what will happen from there, in case you're curious, is I go to the Google uh, number generator and I enter in the total number of entries and let it pick a number for me. And then I'll go to the bottom, the very first email that I got and count backwards to that number. So good luck.
eyeshadow is the hardest thing for me to declutter because eyeshadow is something kind of like all of my blushes or the powder ones anyway that I can use them even past their expiration date. So I feel like, you know, unless the pigmentation isn't performing anymore, there's no reason to get rid of it. But it makes me a little sad to be holding on to palettes that I know other people could be enjoying a lot more than I have time to or the eyes to. I mean, if I had eight eyes, but I don't. Anyway, I hope you guys know that you are the best part of the Fruitsy family and that if you're not having a blessed day, the way you get one is to be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out.